swiping up these deals. Yes. No, dang it, this happens as soon as I wanted to buy this item. Ugh, people are gonna make me run it up now. Hey you guys, what's up? My name is Brittany, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going on a little bit of a shopping spree and I'm kinda gonna be a little selfish today. So I am a thrifter for a living. The thing with thrifting for a living is all the nice stuff I usually just sell and I don't really like keep anything nice for myself. I know that sounds weird. But today I am finally actually going to be thrifting for myself on Whatnot. So Whatnot is uh, collaborating with me on today's video. So thank you to them for sponsoring. And I am basically going to try and thrift my capsule wardrobe or at least the remaining portion of my capsule wardrobe on Whatnot because I, quite frankly, it's the holiday season. I don't really have time to go out. And you know, sometimes thrifting is a little overrated. <laughs> sometimes I'm just not in the mood. I have to be in the mood to enjoy it. So I actually want to do it online from the comfort of my own home. Today I'm basically thrifting for the remaining items of uh, my capsule wardrobe. So I do have um, a few pieces. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I've been like wanting to build a capsule wardrobe for a hot minute. And it's just crazy. I thrift for a living. I come across items that I probably could have kept, but I'm like, you know what? I can make money on it. So instead, <laughs> this is my this is my Christmas gift to myself, a capsule wardrobe. <laughs> so I, hopefully I can find at least half of these items from thrifting on Whatnot. So if you guys don't know, Whatnot is an online selling platform in like a live show auction style. Um, I've actually been selling and buying on it for the last half year or so, and I have thoroughly enjoyed it, but I haven't really gone and specifically looked at it for myself. I actually haven't taken the time to find the items that I'm really looking for. And that is like the epitome of being a thrifter too. You always go to the store looking for something in particular and you can never find it. Or maybe it's just a me problem. So I'm hoping some of my colleagues here on Whatnot have some items that I am looking for. Um, I'm gonna throw some pictures up on the screen just roughly so you guys kind of get an idea of what I'm looking for. My ideal wardrobe is really just like solid colors and neutrals, basically items that are highly functional and can work for many different outfits all year round. So I'll just throw up some in inspiration Pinterest boards for you guys but what I need this is so funny I need a plain a solid black plain like crew neck tee I, I just need one I have a white one but I just don't have a black one I used to have a favorite one but um, it got holes in it because I wore it to the ground I also need some white sneakers I'm a seven and a half so hopefully I can find some I do want to find like two flannels that are gonna fit me more I have flannels but they're my husband's size and they swallow me whole so I want to find <laughs> Some flannels. I want to find some body suits. I'm an extra small, small. I want a black ribbed turtleneck and a black crew neck bodysuit. And then I also want like a neutral ribbed turtleneck. I love turtleneck sweaters and I can wear that for at least half of the year. I do need some shoes. All of my shoes are completely worn into the ground. So I would like some really nice like winter boots and then some like fashionable like black or brown like Chelsea style boots. Basically I need all the shoes for like a castle wardrobe. <laughs> I would like a long line cardigan. Black um, and neutral, one or the other. I would like a new black winter coat. I have a gray sweater. I have like a bunch of sweaters, but I just don't have like a nice solid gray one. And then finally, I need some high-waisted, some straight leg like trousers or denim. But I put that towards the end of the list because denim is a little bit harder because I need specific measurements on it. So that might be something that I actually have to go on thrift in person. We'll see. We'll just see what comes available. So I have set a budget. So hopefully we can find everything. I'm hoping I I can find everything for like 200 bucks, maybe $200. Okay, let's go ahead and hop. I'm gonna do this on my phone. Normally I do it on my iPad when I'm like multitasking for work, but I am just trying to relax and shop. So I'm gonna do a screen recording and we're gonna head into whatnot and see what comes up. All right, so this is what the home screen looks like. Um, I just have for you, followed hosts, women's modern and thrift, which is where I'm primarily gonna be looking. And then I have my account over here. So I have 2.8 thousand followers right now and um, obviously I have sold 641 items so I'm both a buyer and a seller on here I just haven't um, I haven't done a show in a little while I need to I have plenty of items and I've actually been meaning to but regardless this is what the home screen looks like you can basically just browse shows and see if there's anything you're interested in so I usually hop around a little bit so I've been to bargain stalkers shows before and she has some really cute stuff I actually went into her store earlier and um, bookmarked a few things that I might want to see if they're still there so I'm gonna click into this and we're gonna go ahead and get started and see if I can start shopping for myself. She's probably gonna recognize me. Essential endeavors! <laughs> hey girl, hi! I'm actually hunting down goodies for me. Oh, girl, yes, I'm here for that. 
So I'm gonna turn down the volume while I go back to the store. So this is the buy it now section. <laughs> Stop everything and make me sing, that's funny. Here's the auction section. So I did go through here earlier and I think bookmarked a few things that I might wanna look at, but I need to be pretty strict and see what I'm hunting down. I also kind of have to pay attention to the sizes. I also like bookmarked a few things that I might potentially look for my husband too. So let's go ahead and look what numbers are still available. She's probably already sold things that I'm interested in. Some of these things that I liked, I'm like, oh, this doesn't fit my capsule wardrobe. I just like it. Like this Urban Outfitters romper would be so cute for the spring and summer. It's just not what, what I'm looking for. This one, I liked this one. This is nice capsule wardrobe basic. I didn't put any of my activewear in here, but I do need some new active wear. But I'm not gonna consider that a part of my capsule wardrobe. 56 and 45, please. I should might be doing requests right now, let's see. All right, let's see these items that I've requested. Do we love this? Oh my gosh, this is so cute. <laughs> Ah, oh, this isn't a part of my castle wardrobe. It's so cute though. I'm a sucker for sweaters. Like that's where I will stock up in my wardrobe is like all the different colored sweaters. Okay, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Let's see, hopefully nobody else bids. Ah, I will do $7, $8 max. Okay, $8 is my cap. If anybody gets it, then yay! Okay, I'm sorry, I've already... <laughs> already i've already not stayed on top this is hard because they're so cute i'll try it on we'll try it on i'm gonna tell you it's gonna look cute these are in great condition they're size 26 they're wedgies they are a button fly it's like no one ever wore them they cut little slits in the bottom i don't think really it's rude. horrible um so i like cuffed this one up just for example I like oh yeah i do like it cuffed it, like just because i am short so that could work i do the wedgies if you guys don't know wedgies are very popular i've been waiting for one in my size these are high rise these are denim but i can only bid so much because they are flawed you know i, I think the 26s yay i got it for a steal all right so those are just the items off the bat that I was like, what was actually going to fit. So I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to leave now before I start just buying everything that I think is cute. Okay, one show down and I have nothing crossed off my list. So I'm going to go ahead and close out now. I will be right back once I find another show that has some of these capsule water items. I found a show that's doing boots, like live shoes and boots, and I am going to request them. Actually, I'm gonna ask her if she does requests. Yes, I am taking requests. Okay, she's um, taking requests, great. So I'm a seven and a half, and I found some that I like. I actually really like these. These are some brown ones. I actually like both of them. They're just two different styles, so I'm going to request both of the Steve Madden seven and a halves. Okay, let's see if she has, I'm gonna follow her as well she has five star five star rating yeah i am obsessed with these oh they're so cute i love the heel on that yes. oh those are so, those are perfect workouts of wardrobe kind of scuffed but it's but totally fine 20 bucks pretty good i'm gonna wait until we're at 10 seconds so hopefully nobody else yes. bids 14 13 10 11. i bid Yay, 20 bucks is good. That's a good deal. All right, you guys. I got some boots. I got some brown boots. I might be getting two brown boots, but we'll see. We'll try them on. You never know. We have a puppy now. <laughs> she accidentally scratched me earlier, so that's what my band aid's from. Oh, I love those. I've been needing some, like, put together shoes. Yeah, they are slick. Uh, I don't know about the silver on the back. They might be cute. I gotta try them. They are pretty tall though. I'll probably be the same height as my husband, but I'll bid. <laughs> One of those two have to work for my brown, the brown boots that I've been wanting. I love the chunky, like the chunky. For $20, this is a sale. Yeah, it really is. Ta -ta. Thank you so Yay! much. Yay, thank you. Okay, so I'm also, so I'm like a seven and a half eight, so I'm gonna look at the eights as well. Um, I did see some slippers when I was just browsing through and I need me some slippers. Their animal print, I really don't care. Sorrel's is a good brand, so I'm gonna request those just because I need slippers. They're cute. What are these, like, real life brat shoes? <laughs> what? Google that. Those look like some real life brat's boots. Those look like something like a drag queen would wear. No hate, no hate at all. I mean, they're, they're fabulous. They're not my style, but they're fabulous. I found another shoe show and it just went live. There's like another boot still going. I gotta go see what they're, what they got. Oh, it's a dude. Okay, I'm gonna come back. Let me go back to hers. Okay, I think she missed my thing about the slippers. Sorrel slippers, size eight. 
please. Flippers are next, yay! I need those. Those aren't part of the castle wardrobe, but I need them. Flippers! Oh, yes, I love them. They are for me, girl. It's retail for $80. Yay, what a deal. Like, slippers for me, too. That's, like, something that I really try not to thrift, because it's kind of weird. It's hard to, like, wipe down or to wash properly. Yay, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna go back to some of her shows later. All right, the camera angle changed a little bit. I found a, I had to switch over to my iPad because I ran out of room on my phone. So I did do some shopping on my own. <laughs> I'll end up doing a haul at the end of this video. So whatever I did purchase for myself, I will include a screenshot or like a little snippet of whatever I was able to get on my phone um, as I do the haul portion. But now I'm in this um, this girl's name, Way Thrifty. What? I also something that I've learned too, I'm like, ah, oh, a capsule wardrobe is so ideal, but it's kind of hard sometimes because the auction style, you just have like all these items that pop up. You're like, well, that wasn't initially on my list, but I love that. <laughs> and I want that too. So whoops a daisy. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it. <laughs> I'm already here. I've already committed to finding items. I found a few. Let's see, ACDC, a crop top. This is cool. I like crop tops. I'm gonna bid five dollars. This is cute. I, I'm a sucker for banties and crop tops that actually might look really good on. I don't need any more, but I want more. <laughs> oh, yay, I won. Yeah. Why does it look like she's floating? What the heck is going on? Oh, she's wearing shorts. That's why I thought she. <laughs> I wish the connection wasn't that bad, but this kind of happens sometimes. Sometimes it's just a glitch with whatnot. Get to my requests. Okay, let's do these requests. So just bear with me. I this next one is so supposed much. to be a, a jumpsuit, I think. And I'm a sucker for jumpsuits. Um, no. And I didn't really take into consideration the spring and summer items for my capsule wardrobe. <laughs> jumpsuit is definitely more spring and summery, but it's black. I love a solid black. Harley! Oh my gosh, hi! Harley, you're really gonna Oh, this, I was just in Bargain Stalker. I was just in it. This is what they do on whatnot. Sometimes when people don't have enough like viewers, they'll send all of their viewers to somebody else. No, dang it, this happens as soon as I wanted to buy this item. Ugh, people are gonna make me run it up now. I was about to get a steal, then all these people came rushing in. <laughs> Every time like I find items, other people want it too. Cause they're like, oh, I didn't see that before. I love a crop jacket. Do you guys, can you tell my style? I love solid black. That's cute. I need crop because I'm a petite lady. Yeah. This is a castle wardrobe item. It's not on my list, She's but so it's so very cute. cute. <laughs> you never know that you needed something till you get here. <laughs> Good basic for Athleta. She's long sleeve, especially for like running right now. Ooh, perfect. Love Athleta. So hard guys to make sure I go over these. Going and through my requests. So far so good. I like all these items. I'm excited I found her. I love a black sweatshirt. But she does have on her sleeve, she has like this gold zipper. That's cute. Like Three bucks. What a steal. For ASOS, ASOS is, is a popular brand. I've seen like a lot of vloggers pick it up. We love a thick sweatshirt. So wiping up these deals, three dollar plus the shipping for fifty seven bucks. I mean, shoot, you can't even get that at thrift stores now. <laughs> Inflation is real. It's true. So I have one more of my requests, but other people are requesting, so we'll end up seeing if there's anything else I want. And you know, if anything doesn't doesn't fit me right, I can just turn around and resell it back on whatnot. That's why I love whatnot. Heavy sweater. I'll go ahead and start her. Yeah, she's thick. <laughs> She's so cute. Yeah, She's that's a like cute style. From what? Love, second hand but. fashion. Do, do, do. Oh my okay, God. I think that was everything. If I stay here too long, then I'm going to end up buying everything. If you guys are new to whatnot, you can click on my link in the description and get $15 off of your first purchase. Um, and if you do that, then I get a kickback as well. So if you use my code, you get that credit. Let me know when you do your own shows and I will use my credit in your shows. Does that make sense? Just let me know. <laughs> but I do have $15 free for you guys um, for your first purchase here on Whatnot. But did I find anything that I actually had written down? Plain solid black tee. I got my ACDC, it's not really solid black. I did find white sneakers earlier, so we're gonna cross that off. We'll try that out. I did find some flannels earlier, so we're gonna cross that off and hopefully they work out. Let's see here, gray sweater. I found other sweaters that I like. I haven't found any bodysuits, which is like my forever what I'm looking for. I don't think I found any cardigans either, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna cross off gray sweater. I know I got a gray long sleeve and I found a few other sweaters from other people, so we're gonna cross that off. So right now, 
the main thing I really need is just a solid plain black tee. <laughs> and I need those bodysuits, but dang, those are hard to come by. Let's see what's in the teal hanger. Hello, Essential Endeavors. Hello. That's cute. I'm not a camo girl though. Let's see what she has in her store. Let me turn down. Ooh, anything over $20 for Caesar Price. There's a bodysuit, but it's not black. I do need to be picky with my bodysuits. I need need a solid black tee or I need let's see solid black come on or turtleneck bodysuits I <laughs> don't see anything okay nothing into the teal hanger let's go see women's modern and thrift so I've been through some of these shoes four dollars start so let's see what's here that's cute very witchy I love it I love solid black you guys know me and my solid black I don't know what a two is in Chico's this might be oversized We'll see. We'll try it. I love the sleeves. The sleeves are cute. Cute. Again, it's a true black. These. Do you know if you have any extra small, small bodysuits? They're so hard to come by. I think it fits like an extra small. <sighs> it is cute. Um, see, it's but... cute for date night, spring, summer. <laughs> It's kind of a neutral color. This is harder than what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Hi, Brittany. I have blue, black crew neck tees and bodysuits if you're looking. Oh, see? Putting yourself out there. Somebody else saw me, messaged me on whatnot. Let's see what you got, girl. Thank that is so cute. Not what I was looking for, but it's cute. <laughs> like that with some high-waisted jeans, some heels, cute. I actually just got tagged, so this is Thrift Fish. I've I've ordered from her before and she has great stuff. I just requested her to run some Athleta like wide leg cropped pants, which I think could work for like my high-waisted trousers that I'm wanting to do. Let's see what they look like. They look like athleisure, but I've been needing some like solid black high, they look high-waisted. Are they high-rise? Uh, where's the crotch? Yeah, <laughs> where's the crotch? That's honestly right up my alley. I am just like such a skinny girl or a jegging legging, so I need more wide, more wide leg. Two and one. Yay! Gym shirt and Spanx, please. And then we're done. <laughs> this might fit me. Spanx usually runs a little bit small. Cute. Oh, I love that gym shirt. I'll bid. Love a sports bra for when I'm back to my normal gym routine. Nobody's challenging me. Okay, right, I think that's it from her. So we're gonna close out of that. All right, well, I have been on whatnot for a few hours today attempting to add to my capsule wardrobe and I definitely found items that I can add, but I definitely didn't check off everything, which is a bummer. But I am excited about the pieces that I did find. So we are gonna go ahead and well, I guess the next clip that you're gonna see is me trying on some of these items and showing you what I actually got. Cause there are some items that you guys didn't see live. I actually was at the gym <laughs> and of course buying while I was on the treadmill. So I did a screen recording, but I don't think it is audio. So I'll just like include like little clips of the items that I do decide to go with that work for me adding to my capsule wardrobe. So wish me luck. <laughs> but the next clip you guys are gonna see is me actually trying that on. So it's probably gonna be in the next like two to well, probably three to four days um, until everything arrives. So we will we'll see what we get. All right, it is a few weeks later and I finally got all of my packages in and I hung up everything very nicely. As you can tell, I um, did not end up getting just my cat so wardrobe i did end up i actually found a few pieces for my husband um and i found a few pieces for springtime i really want to build like a year-round neutral capsule wardrobe but i am a sucker for colors every once in a while and i like a statement sweater so i did get a few of those and a few more activewear pieces i did need a pj set i did get that and then some shoes as you can see over here i just want to quickly go through some of these items that i found um so to overall let's see how many pieces did i get I have 21 pieces right here. I did have about three or four items that just didn't fit me that I am gonna end up reselling on my own. But for the most part, some of these items are for my husband and then the rest are for me that I'm gonna wear for a while. And just like anybody else, I kind of go through, I cycle through my wardrobe pretty frequently. Um, I will keep a few of these for my forever kind of wardrobe. And then some of these will be statement sweaters. Spring ones I'll wear this spring and then probably towards the end of summer, I will resell it. So that's the beauty of thrifting online and finding great deals like on whatnot. So total 
here for about the 21 items. I spent a little bit over, a little over $200, about $250 to include the shipping on it as well. So it was roughly about $250 and then I had 25 items. The other three or four items I already have are ready to go <laughs> to resell. Um, so we'll just say 25 items for $250 that breaks down to about $10 on average per item. Of course, some of these were a little bit more and some were three bucks, five bucks. So it all kind of worked out. So I'm gonna go ahead and start over here. Oh, let me see. I grabbed two of these flannels for my husband and also kind of for me because we kind of interchange these flannels. This is a really cool like brown and blue one, which I liked. I thought it was, I thought the blue and the yellow it looked a little bit more toned down when I was buying it, but I think I might wear it once or twice, but this will pro primarily be like my husband's flannel because I was hoping for a little bit more of like a brown and neutral one. But anyways, that one's pretty much gonna be his. And then he also loves this orange one. This is definitely a fall sort of flannel, fall and winter time. And of course, <laughs> we're just kind of coming out of that season right now. He doesn't really care. He'll wear these colors year round, but I picked this up for him. $10 on average per item, which I thought was pretty good. I'm pretty sure the flannels themselves were about five bucks. This one I grabbed for me. I know this one was 10 bucks. This is another kind of, it looks like fall, but because it's so white in there, I figured I could wear it year round. This would be really cute for spring and summer too. Just um, paired with like some high-waisted jeans and like a cute little white tank. And you could do a few different shoe options. I was on my capsule wardrobe checklist. I did check these off. I've been wanting some of these like brown boots. So I did pay $20 for these. And I think, let's see, all these other shoes, those averaged out there. But I thought that was such a good deal. These are new without tags, or I guess they are kind of new with tags. But anyways, these are some like suede brown leather booties. I like when they're higher up like that. But for a fall look, how cute would that be? So cute. All right, so I got those. I got a few other like black jackets. I'm a sucker for black. If I could wear black all the time, I would. So I like crop jackets. So this is a black denim one. I have actually worn this out to a date night already. I just threw it back up on the hanger, but it's so cute. I also, dang it, I forgot. I have my other um, black sweater. I have a black rib sweater that I got. It was new with tags, but I've already worn it like eight times and it's in the wash right now. So. Maybe if I can throw up a screen recording of when I bought it. Anyways, that one is like my favorite piece by far because I've already worn it like eight times. And then I also grabbed this black leather jacket from Maxima. This is a Wilson's brand, 100% black leather jacket. Picked this up for $10. Isn't that crazy? So cool. I mean, honestly, I think the leather jackets of Goodwill, they are charging like upwards of $20 right now if it's 100% genuine leather. So I thought that was a steal of a deal. All right, we got some sweaters over here. Um, this is another black, really lightweight sweater I thought would be really cute tucked in. It's really, really soft. It's kind of like like new condition. It's um, a Lucky brand. I love Lucky brand. It's Anyways, just I was needing a few different um, black sweaters. I was really hoping for a turtleneck, but we got a crew neck. I got two crew neck black ones, but um, I love a black sweater and I'm gonna wear these into the ground. All right, this, this next one I thought was cute. This is a pretty like, oatmeal heathered color uh, it's like a it's like a gray oatmeal color i love a mock neck sweater i'm a sucker for it i like turtlenecks mock necks cow necks anyways i got this neutral one from wilfred aritzia i love this brand so if you see it like on whatnot or at the thrift store this is a really good deal normally retail retail wilfred is usually on average for a sweater like this like between 50 and 70 dollars and the fact that i got it for 10 dollars is what a steal what a steal love that the fact like i can just do this from the comfort of my own home i enjoy going out thrifting but sometimes i also do it for a job but i also just like being able to do it for my home and know that i can get deals and not have to pay retail value it's lovely and if for whatever reason if it doesn't fit i can turn around and do my own whatnot show um or sell it on other platforms all right so there is american eagle i love american eagle this is like red and butter for my own personal wardrobe this is cute this one actually might might stay in my capsule wardrobe as like a statement sweater for year round just because it has like this multi-colored pink tan neutral kind of colorway with the with a with a cow neck that I love this one I will for sure tuck in because as you can tell I'm a shorty if I let this loose I literally will have no shape so I usually tuck in a lot of my sweaters but I thought this one was so cute and so darling I'm pretty sure this one went for about five dollars five or seven dollars if I'm not mistaking and um, but of course everything averaged out to ten bucks uh love that one and then this one I thought was so cute and so fun this is urban outfitters for ten bucks how cute, you know, you know Urban Outfitters, like retail, 50 plus, easy. Anyways, there's that Urban Outfitter tag, and look how 
cute, cute little confetti. I love a crop sweater too. This will be a fun statement one for the spring and summer and then I'll probably let it go, but it's cute for a little while. I like a little, pop. like same thing with this blue one. I like it, I'm probably gonna keep it in my wardrobe for about a year and then I'll We'll, we'll rinse and repeat, you know? In the earlier clip, you know, that I was looking for bodysuits. Unfortunately, I think it is something I'm gonna have to buy retail because I just cannot find exactly what I'm looking for, but I am a sucker for bodysuits. And this one happened across my screen in one of my whatnot shows. And I thought this was darling for like a date night. Um, however, this is like holiday time. So I need to kind of get back on track with my, my normal. I'll just put it that way. I don't want to trigger anybody, but I need to get back on normal before I start wearing that out and about, but how cute cute little pink crushed velvet bodysuit. And I'm pretty sure that one was a $5 buy. So that one was good. Um, all right. And then I got a pair of jeans. These are some Levi's 501s, a light wash. And I'm pretty sure, hopefully I mentioned it. It's been, it's been a few weeks now, but, um, I was looking for a light wash pair of jeans and look how cute, look a little back detail on those and it's a high rise and these are absolutely perfect for me and i'm so excited to wear these and i like a light i've been needing a light wash pair of jeans and 501s 501s are some of my favorite ones too but that is something that will be in a capsule wardrobe my my capsule wardrobe for a long 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 time all right these next ones i was needing are some like casual like athleisure high rise wide leg black pants and i found them um these are from athleta and they're a small and they already fit and I'm in love and these are going to be worn year round for a nice casual look. Now I just need to find some shoes that'll go with this other than like some cheapo flip flops. I want to look like casual, but also put together. You know what I mean? So I'm still on the hunt for some shoes that'll go well with that. If you have suggestions, please let me know. All right. Next is a, a Victoria's Secret PJ suit. PJ? Pajama? How do you guys say it? Pajamas? Jammies? Most of the time I'll wear like shorts and like one of my husband's t-shirts or I'll wear sweats when it's cold and one of my husband's t-shirts and I'm like, you know what? I want something for me. I want to look nice and put together when I like get ready for bed early. Anyways, I got an animal print because animal print never goes out of style. This is from Victoria's Secret. Um, I did pay up for this set. I guess when it, when it, when you boil down like each, each item, I think it ended up being around $20. I did pay up for some of these, but I loved it. And I was like, yes, please. I want this. I need this. And it's so hard to find secondhand too. So, all right, there is that. All right. And then I also got some new athletic wear. This was a Gymshark bra. Pretty sure that one was less than $10 pickup. And then I also grabbed these Spanx black leggings. I mean, that's just a common, always need that. I need some black leggings for everyday wear. And Spanx actually, it retails for quite a bit of money. So being able to get that for around $10 was a deal. All right, so I got those two. Those are, oh, and I also got this other piece of athletic wear. This is Free People bike shorts. And they're brand new with the tags. So stoked to get that. There they are, some bike shorts from Free People. Pretty sure that was $5 as well. So got those brand new in the packaging. So I was excited about getting those try those out. It'll probably be a few more months until I actually wear them to the gym just because it is freezing, but I've been needing to get some bike shorts. And then the shoes, like I was saying earlier, just based on style is why I grabbed them. But these are Steve Madden, which I personally love and will pick up for my job as well. And you're not, there we go. Steve Madden. These are so cute. I love the chunky stacked wooden heel and these are going to go well, honestly, year round. I mean, these are cute in the summer too. So these are a good year round booty. I am still looking for some black ones. And then I also grabbed these. I do think I am going to go ahead and try to resell on um, on whatnot. Just cause uh, I got them initially, but they just, the color didn't actually look the way that I wanted it to. They're beautiful, but they're just not exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and give those to a new home, sell those to a new home. And um, these were Steve Madden as well. And then finally, I was needing some slippers. I'm almost out of battery. I was needing some new slippers. These are $20 and they are fantastic. I'm already starting to wear them. And then these were, I think, less than $10, just some white chunky sneakers that I've been really wanting. And that is um, everything that I have to show you from this old Whatnot extravaganza. Thank you again to Whatnot for sponsoring today's video. I was so excited that they wanted to work with me. I've literally been buying on Whatnot for myself and for my business for the last like over half a year. And I love it. You can find so many good deals. And I have some tips for you guys on how to score those deals. Just let me know in the comments down below if you would like to learn those tips. Anyways, it's a great place to buy for yourself, buy cheap, buy 
really great name brand items or um, if you need it for your business as well. But anyways, thank you so much to Whatnot for sponsoring today's video and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye. Oh. Sure, it's right in front of us if we do.